Welcome everyone. I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. And I'm so thrilled you're joining me today. We've got a lot of great stuff I want to share. And this is May 18th in 2021. So for you that are new to kinesiology, some of you might be brand new because we're opening it up for newbies. I want to give you some introduction to kinesiology. And for you that are already practicing, I'm going to give you some upgrade of skills, some new ways of looking at things. And I'm here to be your guide. I'm here after studying and working with this for over 40 years. I've seen it all, well not all, but I've seen a lot of things in my years of study. And I want to give you some insights of how to think. I want you to first understand that we in kinesiology, applied kinesiology, are looking at energy imbalances and energy blockages in the body that through muscle testing you can discover these and then find out what's the best approach to clear that blockage and then when blockage is cleared symptoms will often go away naturally performance will enhance like we just had the sports kinesiology this past weekend and for you that missed it we'll have that available in a uh, recorded course very soon and we had a woman here who had broken her leg came hobbling in on crutches with a knee brace and by balancing and switching on the muscles finding energy blockages structural imbalances and flipping on the energy switches that power up those muscles by the end of the class she was walking up and down stairs freely and you could see the look on her face for you that were in the class she was just astounded like wow the pain is gone i have full range of motion i have full power i'm standing erect balanced on my feet and so this is so great for particularly clearing injuries as you can see but also finding things that we call subclinical there are things that may not show up in a lab report um, and we still recommend you know you get your labs and you get uh, full coverage you know like you want to look at everything and we're looking at a dimension that doesn't necessarily show up on lab reports or blood work we can see energetic imbalances that often will be out for long periods of time sometimes months or years or even decades and then finally it shows up where the straw breaks the camel's back and boom they have a major incident or problem so we like to keep people tuned up for peak performance and avoid these things happening, having them live a longer and healthier life. So just to give you a little of my background, I started as first a yoga instructor and a meditation instructor. So I was into consciousness and, and getting all the chi flowing and the prana and raising you know, our vibrational field through that medium. Well, a chiropractor who came to my class after class she said, here, I want you to put your arm out and I'm gonna show you something. Hold your arm up. And so he pushes on my arm and he goes, watch this. And he does something that interrupts my energy flow. And all of a sudden I have no strength. And then he does something to bring it back, like doing a little meridian work. And in an instant, it was totally strong. And he said, see, these energy flows in the body, when they are disrupted or blocked, it affects our muscle strength, but also affects the health of our organs and our function. And every cell in the body is affected by these acupuncture meridians. So I went to his office and he had a demonstration um, similar to what I'm giving you today. And I go, wow, I got to learn this. Well, at the time I was in massage school and also one of the students in the massage school said, hey, my husband is a chiropractor and he's doing this in the office and we're getting phenomenal results. It was the Touch for Health book, an older version of this book right here, the Touch for Health book. And so I said, I got to learn this. Well, then uh, a course came to my town and I be study the Touch for Health program. From there, I had the great fortune of studying with Dr. George Goodhart, who is the founder of Applied Kinesiology, taking his year-long certification program. So I got to go and study with the master and also with his assistant, Dr. Wally Schmidt, who is one of the top kinesiologists in the world. It's sort of like if you were learning about physics and somebody said, hey, there's this course by Einstein and Tesla would you like to come along? So I said, sure. Well, it was the, f the great fortune that led to me then becoming a Touch for Health instructor, working with John Thee, who developed Touch for Health as his chiropractic assistant and his program director of the Touch for Health Foundation. 
Well, then in 1980, well, it's actually around 91, I decided I want to take the best of George Goodhart in applied kinesiology and all the other AK doctors that I'd study with, as well as Touch for Health and all the great stuff there, and marry them together in a program. So 1992, I started my kinesiology certification program, and we have one coming up of the structural kinesiology certification program, which I know some of you are already enrolled in, that's coming up next month. So I'll talk a little bit about that later. So I'm going to bring up Catherine, and I'm going to show you how Goodhart, whenever, when I first studied with him, he always emphasized, look at the person's posture. And when muscles are switched off or inhibited, due to some stressor, you will see the posture altered. So we're gonna look at her posture and see if we find a couple things out. We could do more in depth, but we'll, we'll also do some things getting her on the table here in a bit. But uh, let's see what we find. And so I'm gonna look here at her arms. And I think this one's turning in a little more than the other. Yeah. Now the external rotation is done by a muscle called the teres minor. So the teres minor relates to the um, triple warmer meridian and the thyroid, okay? So what we do then is I test here, pushing in like this, ready and hold. You're holding? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there, okay? Now I'll check this side and ready and hold. Okay, that's strong. Mm -hmm. Now we think holistically in applied kinesiology. Dr. Goodhart said, look at structure, biochemical, and emotional. So what I can do here is I can have her touch various switches with her fingers it's called circuit locating. So I want you to touch right here. She's touching a circuit for the neural lymphatic points. As I push, look how strong that is. There's no way I can budge it as hard as I can push. Take your hand away. She's now not bringing electricity to that energy switch that feeds that muscle. Watch what happens. Little finger, go hold. Yep, hold <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is look at another point. Let's have you touch right here. That's the okay. forehead, those are stress release points. And I'm gonna see what happens there. Hold as I push. Oh, have you had any stress lately? Maybe just physical stress, <laughs> yeah, lots of okay. work. <laughs> now, yeah, like not having enough sleep and getting yeah. run down that way, okay. Yeah. So, or having too much to do, overwhelmed, you have a lot of things on your plate? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, for me it was doing my taxes, it was like, <laughs> so that's a clearing. So we've got a, a structural energy switch, an emotional switch. Now I can also check, if she touches right here, there's a point for iodine. So you touch right there. We cover this in our biochemical course. Hold as I push. Oh, and that's switching on. Everything has an energy field, so I'm gonna have you hold this with okay. this hand so I can test the muscle. No, you gotta hold it, oh, yeah. In this hand. So I'm gonna, yeah. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is a form of uh, standard process iodine. It's a dry iodine, and hold as I push in. Wow, look at that. Sure. So it's showing how biochemistry or nutrition would also help support that. One other, just to see. Okay, that's a liquid iodine, and hold here. Oh, it doesn't want that one, it wants the other one. Hmm. See, so you can actually find out what nutrition works best for bringing a person into balance, okay? So now let's get it switched on. I'm gonna have you touch with your right hand here, and I'm gonna get back here and see what we get. Is that tender at all in there? It is. It's now you can tender. do this on yourself, folks, As um, see if these points are tender on you. I am between the second and third rib, right off the sternum in that rib space. If you find the collarbone, there's first space, second space. So I'm going to that second space. And, and she's touching points there. Okay, so now let's have you bring the arm back out. Hold as I push. All right, and see how strong it is now? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if it's altered your posture. Okay. Yeah, it's looking straighter. Now, next thing I notice, next thing I notice is, see how this shoulder is higher than this one? Mm -hmm. 
So that is the latissimus dorsi, usually. We can also check the hip level. Those are fairly level. And so let's just check this muscle. So the latissimus dorsi, major muscle in the back that holds the shoulder down, and the upper traps oppose it. Now, Dr. Goodhart dis discovered it's the weak muscles that oppose a tight muscle that's the cause of the tension and tightness in most cases. So I'm going to pull straight out here, and you hold this in. You're holding? Yes. It, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, now she's got to switch right here. I'm going to have you touch there. Okay. And this is, I could just rub these points, but let's see what happens. If I pull, totally strong. Now, with your right hand, touch right up here. She's touching a, a blood circuit right above the ear, right where I'm touching. She's touching a blood switch or a neurovascular point that enhances blood flow. Okay, hold as I pull again. And that's strong. Okay, now there's another thing we can always do is the meridian itself. Touch right over here with your right hand. Okay. And don't let me pull out. Okay. That's helping. So we've got three things we can do here. So we're going to have you, you can rub right here. And you feel that in between the rib. Are you finding a tender spot? And do this at home, folks. Here's how you find it. If you go from the nipple line and go straight down and then up on the left side, get in the space there and it'll often be tender. These are, <laughs> these are points also known as Chapman's reflexes. Now, Dr. Chapman, about 100 years ago, discovered that there are these nerve reflexes on the body that stimulate organs, specific organs. It was George Goodhart that came along and discovered that these organ switches also switch on muscles. And so through trial and error, he figured out what muscles go with which organs. Now, another man named Terence Bennett, chiropractor in San Francisco, found that certain points on the head are nerve reflexes to stimulate blood flow to specific organs. And again, Goodhart discovered, and I'll do the point in the back here, Goodhart discovered that the, the muscles also relate to neurovascular points. So he mapped out which muscles relate to that. And so therefore we have a whole chart, I'll show you in a moment. It's a folio, and that's what we learn in our structural class. We learn all the various muscles, uh, the major muscle groups, about 48 different muscles in the body, and how to test them, like we're doing here, how to assess the posture, and then what is out so we can bring it in. Stroke on this, you can let go of that now. Okay. I'm I'm taking the meridian and I'm bringing it from beginning to end. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if that's strength stronger now. Okay, hold as I push. Much better. Okay, so let's see, is that le leveling out any? A little bit. A little bit, okay, so let's see what else might be going on here. Is there anything hip? Okay, you're gonna put your hand on my shoulder you can do these on a table, and she's gonna bring her legs straight out like this, and don't let me push, okay? Oh boy. It's weak. <laughs> it is weak, yeah. So that's another thing. That's the gluteus medius. So this time I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna work on the origin insertion of the muscle. That's right along the crest of the ilium. You work on the top of the pubic bone. So find the pubic bone here and rub on the top, pushing it down towards okay. the floor, okay? And so folks, you can do this on yourself. Get on the top of your pubic bone and rub it back and forth and see if that's tender. The greater the, the, greater the tenderness, the greater the extent of the blockage. So I'm working on the origin. Now, I, I could have tested like I was doing the other points. You don't have to. I'm just going right for the corrections and seeing how they, they go. Ooh, that's tender. And that's tender, okay. <laughs> yep. And then I'm going to work on points in the back. Now, the points in the back are right in the very bottom of the small of the back. Yeah, that'll work. So I find the, the ilium, the crest of the ilium, and I'm getting right on the soft tissue just above that posterior superior il iliac spine. Okay. There you go. So now turn around. I'll do the points on the head. There's the vascular point. So basically we have these, the energy switches 
to turn on a switched off muscle are the origin insertion. You can relax down on that neural lymphatic. That's also another switch, the neural lymphatic, the neurovascular, and then tracing the meridian. So I'll do that next. Let's take here. And I'm going from nip, just off the nipple to the tip finger. That's what's also known as the pericardium or circulation sex. Meridian. Okay, let's have your hand on my shoulder and bring that leg out again. Okay. See if we got any improvement. Hold as I push. A little bit, yeah. Yes, much better. Thanks. Okay, let's see if there's any more balance in, in the posture. Are we leveling out now? I think so. How do you feel? That's the bottom line. I feel good. <laughs> Does there, you feel any shift from what we just did? I did, especially with the leg. Yeah. It feels a lot... Um, like you're grounded? Yeah. More relaxed, a lot grounded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, well, have a seat. We might bring okay. you back up in a, just a bit. Okay. Okay, so the question is, can you use indicator muscle testing? Great question, to find these points that need to be worked. Or do you do, go right to the muscles? I love indicator muscle testing, and that's actually more primarily what I do, but you want to have all the skills. Now, the benefit of testing the muscle is it's telling the body, hey, we have weakness in that rotator cuff muscle, the teres minor, and then when we strengthen it, it gives proprioceptive feedback that says to the other muscles, hey, we are balanced now, so they adjust. So it's always best when you can do that. However, it's often a great thing to test with an indicator muscle, which I'll describe in a moment, to go right along and find where there's blockages. And that's what we teach in our AK Fundamentals, for you that have done that course, you'll know that you have the head points. Well, I'll show those. Those are priority head points that show you the priority energy blockage. Now to understand, we have these 14 acupuncture meridians, primary meridians, where energy's cursing through the body this folio here, you'll see has, um, this is the central meridian and it shows a muscle related to the central meridian here. Here's the meridian where it flows. And then here's the muscle supraspinatus. It also relates to the brain and it shows you the reflexes on here. There's the neurovascular reflexes, the neurolymphatic reflexes. So that it, when that energy gets blocked and it's not flowing at 100%, you'll see a weak muscle and then you can switch it on by either stroking the meridian, like we were demonstrating on Catherine, rubbing the neural lymphatic point, points, and or touching the neurovasculars. Now, in some cases, if the muscle's injured, which, by the way, this is the most commonly injured rotator cuff muscle, you can also activate it by rubbing the points. And many times when someone has an injury and you balance them out doing this work, they immediately get better. Like, the woman that came to this course this last weekend with a broken leg, she's like two, three months ahead in her rehab, <laughs> just from the, the balancing we did on those, all those muscles that were out related to her broken leg. And we did other corrections. We show this in the AK Fundamentals course, the injury recall technique. And we also show that in the structural certification program. So here's the governing meridian, for instance. And then here, this is, and we have these, uh, by the way, these folios available in our uh, kinesiologyinstitute.com in the products section. And these, uh, all these muscles relate to the stomach meridian. So we show uh, pectoralis major clavicular, there's neck flexors, neck extensors, um, other muscles, brachioradialis. And then we show, again, neurolymphatics are on here, neurovasculars and the meridian itself. These are bilateral. So you have all these chains of meridians, and you can think of it kind of like a highway. You know, like uh, we, I live in Los Angeles, and we have the 405 and the 10 and the 5 and the 105 and the, you know, the 101 and all these numbers, and they're each like a different meridian. And sometimes traffic will get backed up on one, like the 405, and then it backs up onto the 10, and traffic isn't moving. There's a blockage and then it might back up to the five or whatever. So you have in the body, we have a priority system, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment for you to do the fundamentals, it'd be a good review for you. And when we find that priority, it tells us 
where's the first place to go? Because 80% of what's out on people are compensations. And often tight muscles that we're taught as a massage therapist work out all that tightness and tension. Well, that can be good, but if you don't move the stalled car that's causing that block up, it'll just come back. And that stalled car is a uh, under energy deficient or inhibited muscle due to energy blockage. And again, that blockage can be structural, it can be biochemical and or emotional. And in the energy systems too, there can be blocks in the energy pathways. So I'm gonna have her hold her arm up here with a relaxed hold. Now how you test a muscle is you put gentle, gradual increasing pressure. In this case, I'm gonna push back like this. No problem with your shoulder that I shouldn't test it, okay? So meet my pressure and I put a little more, a little more, a little more, gradually increasing. Okay, now I wanna see what it looks like when it switches off. One way to do that is I can pinch in the belly of the muscle and hold again and see how it relaxes. That's a spindle cell, a neuromuscular proprioceptive spindle cell. That's the name of the proprioceptor. And it tells the muscle, relax. So I'm making sure I get an accurate response. Now, once I do it once, it goes back to normal. Now I'm gonna to touch points on the head. For you that know the fundamentals, I'm touching the wood element point. So hold as I push. Oh, look at that, it goes down. Now I can touch over here. This is the earth element. Now that means there's some deficiency in the wood element. How about the earth? How about, no, that's a fire. Fire here, now to earth. Now I go over to metal. These are cranial suture points. This is water. This is central and this is governing. So these are the five elements. Now when I touch back on the wood and it goes weak, I can then say, liver, and do you see how it goes strong? Then I say gallbladder, and it doesn't change, it stays weak. I'm looking for the one that changes. It's basically saying, body, how's it going in the wood element house? And it says, not so good, we need help. And then I say, who needs help? Does liver need help? And it says, yes. Now you're not saying that to your client, they might think you're a little weird, but that's figuratively what you're doing, okay? So let me just show, stand here for a moment, and I'll show you on the folio here the five elements. So here's the five elements, right? So the five elements, she's got a block in the wood element, and then it can affect other muscles here. Now what I can do is I can do what they call circuit locating, which I'll demonstrate on her, is touching and then testing. So I can touch the liver. I can point straight in and see how is the liver is it under stress? And it's saying, yeah, it's the strong muscle, hold, goes weak. So it's saying, okay, we gotta bolster that up. Now I'm touching the switch for the liver and it says, yep, we need help. I can touch another switch, that was neurolymphatic. Now I'm touching the neurovascular. That's another shortcut. So the question the person was asking is, yes, I'll often do this, but I also like to test the muscle. So now I'm gonna test this here and push up and out and you're holding, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there's also a nutritional element. For you that have done the fundamentals, you know we have hand or finger modes. These are great. I can touch the thumb to this, the, the index finger, and that says, if it goes from weak to strong, it says, we need structural work, which we kind of already figured out because the neurolymphatic was, but I'm giving you all these alternatives, see? So now I'm gonna touch here and see what happens and it goes strong. Now I'm gonna to touch this finger and see what happens. It doesn't change, that's nutrition. So it says we don't need nutritional element intervention. Let's see how the point here is. That is the middle, the ring finger. The ring finger is emotional, it's not an emotional issue, but if it was, then we do emotional corrections, which is a lot in our fundamentals. We do the emotional stress release techniques. And then here in this case, we're now touch, touching the little finger Oh, and it likes that. So the little finger is the light touch points like the neurovasculars, but also the meridian points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch um, liver eight. Now liver eight is the tonification point. Right down here, hold as I push. You're holding. <laughs> There's nothing there. 
Okay, so that's saying, ah, we need to do some acupressure. So that's where circuit locating can tell you where are the circuits that when I switch them on, the body gets an immediate response. Okay, so let's have you work that right under the right breast. You can do this, folks, at home, right along between the ribs. And I'm gonna touch right up here. Okay, I'm doing mine just to show you. And you're going all the way out. So folks, start right off the sternum, just where the breast meets the chest wall. So get under the breast tissue for women. Men, it's where you find the nipple. It's the first space under the nipple. And you're going all the way out. Is it more tender as you go out, by the way? It is, yeah. Usually that's the case. The further out you go, by the way, you get another bonus. When you go out further, you're also affecting the thymus, which is your immune, part of your immune system that helps regulate the T cells. So it builds your immunity, okay? So I'm gonna touch right here. Um, wait, got one more point I gotta do. Okay, so here I'm gonna work on liver eight. Is it tender at all down here? Um, only, a, oh, actually, yes it is. Yeah, there we go, I got it. If you find a tender spot, folks, you probably got it. <laughs> Okay, breathe. Okay, so let's see how this goes now. Ready and hold. Whoa, much better. So now I'll use my indicator muscle and say, how did I do? I point in at the liver, that's clear, that's clear, that's clear, and that's clear. Great, so we got another result. So great question. Which course covers the adrenals to calm them down and strengthen them? We go in depth in the adrenals, and I'll do a little checking right here on her, in the structural kinesiology course. You know, we do cover it somewhat in the biochemical course because everything affects everything else. So the structural course, we, we cover the muscles for the adrenals. And let me just check here. I'm gonna circuit locate the adrenal reflexes and see how yours are doing. Okay, yeah, they're saying, I need some help. <laughs> okay, um, by the way, let's see if this cleared. Okay, it did. Now there's three, three different stages of adrenal stress. Again, we cover this in depth, both in the structural class as well as the biochemical. And one stage is the alarm reaction. Like you get a, a, a notice from the IRS, they're gonna audit you. Well, let's intend that not happen for any of you, but ah! or you're driving along and there's a police car behind you waving their lights. You know that feeling? That's the alarm reaction. <laughs> now the second is the vigilant state where you're saying, okay, I just gotta buckle up and keep going. And now um, your, your uh, DHEA is diminishing and your cortisol is starting to drop as well. See, cortisol is the stress hormone that goes really high when you're in that state of alarm and then it starts dropping. And the third stage is where both of them drop. So you want DHEA high, or at least balanced. And when that's depleted and your cortisol is you're running on empty, you're just totally depleted. You, you feel like total fatigue when you wake up in the morning, you can't get going, you can't get anything done. And a lot of us are in that state right now. So I do my best to keep above that. Now the muscles we do for the adrenals, there's four, but we're gonna show two. One is the sartorius. Um, by the way, you can check the leg length and see if one leg is shorter than the other. In her case, they're not too far off, but this one looks a little shorter. Mm -hmm. Now I can then take and turn the leg in. So I'm gonna pull it straight out like that, okay? And ready and hold. Wow, when she's off, she's really off. <laughs> That's great. I love how easy it is to test her. So now let's hold the, the knee bent. And I'm going to have this at about a right angle. This is the sartorius muscle. It's coming from right under the ASIS. It's the longest muscle in the body, and it's going down into the medial part of the knee right at the top of the tibia. So I'm gonna pull this out like this and ready and hold. And there it is, okay? So now we're going to see, there's an interesting phenomena that, hold as I push. When you put sugar on a person, it should um, 
Should make them go weak, but let's see what happens with her. Hold as I push, and it does. If they don't go weak when they have sugar on them, it's they're in stage three adrenal. So you're probably either in stage one or stage two, but that's one thing we do, okay? So now I can look at, again, the neurolymphatic points, two inches up, one inch out from the navel. You can touch both sides there. And bend the knee, hold as I pull out. Now how strong that is. Let's have you touch the back of your head here and see what happens here. Hold. That's the neurovasculars. So she seems to like both. Some people really like one and they're really great on one or the other, but many times both help. And so now I'm gonna have you touch uh, this point right here. She's now touching the tonification point, which is triple warmer three. That's the point that tonifies the end and knee, adrenals. Okay, while you're at it, let's just double check the gracilis likes it. Don't let me pull out. And sure enough, it likes it. Cool. Now, let's see if the point here is tender at all. Yeah. Point there is tender. Yeah. Okay. And how about here? A little bit, not as much as that one's tender. And that one's tender. <laughs> okay. So let's check. I want you to, before we go on here, I'm going to check this quadricep. And I want you to put one hand on the SI joint on each side, like touching the fingers on the SI joint. And she knows the SI joint because she's a massage therapist, a very good one. Look at that, goes weak. Now that is a sign she has what's called a category two. Okay, so let's see what else. So you found it was a little tender here? It was, yeah. Yeah, and how about up here? It was mainly on the left side. That's tender there? Yeah. Okay, now what I do then is I can block her. Now what happens is when, and we cover this in the structural kinesiology uh, certification program, is what happens is when the sartorius is weak, is the pelvis rolls back. So this here is, uh, the sartorius again is coming from right under here, and when it's weak, it rolls back. The origin insertion goes further apart. So the pelvis rolls back like this, and it can create a, a sacroiliac subluxation. See, so this point right here, this joint, the sacrum, the ilium, it can then go out of place. So what we like to do is block the person so it brings it back into alignment. So what I can do is on this side, I'm gonna put a block right here on the ilium. And then on this side, we're gonna put a block here. Okay, and there we go. Now let's see if the tenderness reduced any. Is that less yeah, tender? Do she doesn't feel anything now. See, when it's blocked properly, it clears those points. There's good, okay. Now can you, it might be hard for you to reach, but can you kind of get down and touch those SI joints on both sides? Can you get it? Okay. Now, if, we, if this is fixing it, bend the knee, it'll be strong. See, muscle testing tells you everything. It tells you what to do, where exactly you need to go. So what I find when I'm doing massage, when I, before I knew any of this, I would do what Goodhart would say, the rub and hope method. And I was like, okay, I have... Uh, <laughs> let's see, I know they hurt here, and, and I might even be rubbing points that are tender that you don't need to rub them. You need to correct the structural imbalance that causes that. Goodhart used to say, where you think it is, it ain't. So often, when you learn what patterns are related to conditions, you know, oh, when someone has a category two pelvis, we cover that in the structural course, and they have, um, say, pain in the knee or pain around the sternocostal joint, and they have certain symptoms. You say, oh, that sounds like adrenal fatigue. You test the adrenal muscles, you balance everything, and often they, wow, everything clears up. Okay? So now what we're going to do is while she's lying there, I'm going to go ahead and balance these muscles like we found. 
And so everyone rub on your own points. I'll let you just kind of put the arm away here so I can get down under the back. And you can rub those now yourself. Yeah, so everyone rub two inches out and one inch up from the navel. I mean, two inches up from the navel and one inch out. So find your umbilicus, go up two inches, out one inch, and everyone rub those, see how those are. Are these tender on you at all? On the back, not so much, but the front, yes. Okay, so she's gonna work those fronts. Okay, so I'm working those points, she's doing that. I'm gonna catch a point back up in the head, then I'm gonna do her points for her stress, uh, her adrenal tonification. Yeah, this is the posterior fontanelle. So on the posterior fontanelle, folks, if you wanna do it on yourself, that's the neurovascular point for this, and this is all in that folio and the Touch for Health book. Okay, so I'm gonna work these points now. Is that tender at all? No. Okay. And. And how about here? Yeah, there's a little tender on that side. A little tender on that mm -hmm. side, okay. So let's take her off the blocks now and see what we got. And. Okay, so we test the sarc, we'll start with the gracilis. Pulling straight out, hold, and then bend the knee. Don't let me put this straight. Whoa, much stronger. Let's check, touch the SI joint on both sides. See if that's now corrected. Quadriceps. See, I'm just using the quadriceps as an indicator muscle. And then we have, um, let's just test here and see. Okay, so that's, those points are corrected. And how about this? Is this better now? Yeah, no tenderness. No tenderness. Mm -hmm. So we fix that. How about here? No tenderness. Fix that. Good. See, then you can immediately see, well, what's the result? And, and now the, the legs are totally even. So we rebalanced your posture. So let's have you stand up and see how you're feeling now. You feel good, huh? How, how do you feel different? I feel like, earlier I felt like I was hunching over, but oh. I feel a little more relaxed. And yeah, you are balanced on your weight, yeah. yeah. By the way, okay. one of the muscles for the adrenals is the soleus. Soleus is the muscle that keeps you erect, and when your soleus is weak, it's that muscle in the, in the, in, deep in the calf, you're, you'll lean, you have a forward lean. So when mm -hmm. someone has a forward lean, that's another sign of adrenal. Also, were you tired when you woke up in the morning? Is that a pattern I for was, you? I was, yeah. Yeah, so that's another sign of adrenal. Uh, how about bright lights outside? If you go outside, you need sunglasses. I, I get that pretty often. Too. Okay, well that's yeah. another <laughs> adrenal sign. Oh, so, no. <laughs> so what I want you doing now okay. is doing those points, you know, for one. Right. And you could do them like, say every time you eat, just rub them for, or when you wake up in the morning, that's another time. I've had people that say, boy, when I wake up in the morning, I do those, and I've had that too. I can, whoo, better than a shot of espresso. I'm raring to go. So it's a way to turn your adrenals on and then get enough sleep. I mean, that's key, yeah. you know? So you say, okay, I'm gonna go to bed at 10 or whatever time to make sure you get your amount of sleep. In fact, let's ask your body how much sleep. So you can also ask the body yes, no questions. So ideal for you to get at least six and a half hours sleep, at least, seven hours sleep, at least seven and a half hours sleep, at least eight hours sleep, so at least seven and a half for you. Okay. So if you figure out what time you have to get up, make sure that time is um, where you can go, seven yeah. And, okay. and if you can't, take a nap, yeah. you know, so. You like naps. Yeah, <laughs> naps are great. They, they ha There's a book called Take a Nap, um, and this woman did her PhD study at the University of uh, UC UCSD, San Diego, and uh, she did research and she said, wow, people take naps. It really balances their neurotransmitters and they're much more productive. In other cultures, they take a siesta. So mm -hmm. that's gonna help your adrenals too. Okay, right. great. Okay. I'll let you have a seat. We might bring you back up. The structural course that we have coming up is an opportunity for you to get 96 continuing education hours in uh, certification through National Certification Board uh, I think it's NCBTMB for, ne for therapeutic massage and body workers. And even if you're not needing that, it's a way you can really get adept at these skills. And when you get certified, you are also eligible to get referrals 
from the Kinesiology Institute. Now the program is coming up hands-on for you that can come to Long Beach and that is where we're starting on June 12th and going till June 22nd, five days on, nine to six basically, a day off, and then another five days. So if, if you're interested in that, uh, you can look on the kinesiologyinstitute.com site, but I'll show you what some of the contents are here in a moment. But in that program, you really get mastery. So what we do is you see the techniques demonstrated again, and then you practice them with supervision from me or other assistants, and then you get balanced. And a lot of people find just getting through the course alone, attending it, many of their own problems clear up. The other benefit is you have a full 24 classes. They're generally an hour and 15 to an hour and a half with all these specific techniques, one or two techniques per class. You can go back and review for life. So you have lifetime access to that. You also do case studies, and then you'll have uh, also a, a final exam, both a written, where we tell you all the questions ahead of time so you can study up, it won't be any surprises, and then also an oral where you practice with other people, and it's kind of a fun process where everyone's learning together as they're getting examined. examined. So if you can't make it live, we also have the opportunity for you to attend online, just like you're doing now. We have people from overseas, um, all around the country. Some people are uh, driving or flying in from, from other states. Uh, however, there's people, we already have Craig. Uh, he, Bo Craig Bolin just signed up. Hopefully you're on Craig, and I'm so excited. He's gonna be attending via Zoom. Now, if you do make the Zoom attendance, if you can't make it live, if we have a, a class, like in the future when we have a class, you can then attend without any additional charge. We also have an opportunity if you say, well, I don't want the certification, but I want all the material, you can attend. Right now we're on sale for the rest of the week for $500 off. It's $14.97 for you to attend and have lifetime access to all this material by watching the online programs only. So if you want the certification, that's an additional $1,500. And that is, again, gives you opportunity to get client referrals and really know your stuff because you're going to be either attending live in Long Beach or watching it, the whole 80 hours of additional instruction you'll be watching on Zoom. So as you see, each class, we learn a few more muscles. So I, I chunk it down a little at a time. And the first course, we cover the central and governing meridian muscles. Also, injury recall technique, one of the most important beneficial things you can do. The second class, we cover the stomach meridian muscles. I was showing those on the folio earlier. And then this technique for hidden muscles, like certain muscles that you'd think they'd be weak. Well, when they have a chronic condition, the body often compensates, and then you find out how to find them. There's also a mode, a hand mode, that's called the more mode. And the more mode shows when you need to do more of something. Number three class, the spleen meridian muscles. These are ones like we did with Catherine earlier, latissimus dorsi and other muscles related to both the pancreas and spleen. And then a great technique for you that just did the sports kinesiology, you'll remember that, the sustained muscle use. And then the priority mode. That tells you what is the priority to do. And again, I told you that 80% of what you find are compensations. So we teach you how to find the 20 percenters that when you correct those, the other 80 will often correct on their own. Next, we have the heart and small intestine meridian muscles and myofascial release. That's what they do in rolfing. Amazing things occur with increased flexibility, increased performance, also uh, relieving pain. It's a very important factor, and we show you how to do that throughout the body. Gait reflexes, those for you did the sports kinesiology, you'll remember those. Very important for acupressure points on the feet to improve running, walking, and any time people have problems when they're on their feet a lot. This, the class five, we get into the bladder meridian muscles, circuit retaining mode, which is a way to help you know what to do for various conditions. It's a really practical thing. I actually use that 
all the time in my sessions and you'll find that you get a lot of, of uh, easier uh, information to find what you need to do for people using that and some lymphatic drainage techniques that are uh, phenomenal. So we have the next class kidney meridian muscles and the ileocecal valves and valves of Houston. Now the ICV, ileocecal valve is the valve between the small and large intestine and a myriad of problems and symptoms like headaches, low back pain, shoulder pain, nausea, flu, uh, even insomnia can be triggered by that and when you fix that a lot of things clear up so that's a really important correction. Seven we have the circuit uh, circulation sex meridian muscles I did that earlier on Catherine with the gluteus medius and a situation called dural torque. That's where the spine gets torqued and if you clear that pattern it often clears things that aren't clearing up otherwise. Really important correction. Next is the ligament stretch reaction. Uh, that is, and then we do the triple warmer muscles. We already did a few on Catherine uh, today, including those last two we just did. And the ligament stretch reaction is when a lot of the ligaments throughout the body become weakened, often because of adrenal stress. And we show you how to clear that. And in the ninth class, there's a specific technique that you that just did the sports kinesiology course learned, how to reset ligaments and we did that with the woman who had broken her leg and we did on her knee and it made a huge difference and we cover the gallbladder and liver meridian muscles. The lung meridian muscles, hiatal hernia and intercostal reset. That's really great for increasing breath holding capacity and hiatal hernia um, can mimic a heart attack and a lot of people uh, have that and it also causes hiccups and uh, other factors and so that's a great correction to know. Large intestine meridian muscles and the emergency mode. I use that in every session. It's a mode that tells you whether the primary correction you need to do is structural, biochemical, emotional, or electrical. Okay then in 12 we cover the pitch roll and yaw. That's a spinal alignment to align the trunk muscles and then pelvic categories. Category 1 we show you the piriformis, the gluteus medius, and maximus muscles there, and that's a common pelvic correction. And she had the category two today. We showed on Catherine how to check startorius and gracilis, and then there's some other muscles that sometimes are involved. We did check her and balance her latissimus dorsi, and then there's the hamstrings. Class 15, the contralateral joint interlink. That's an amazing correction where you can clear someone say if they have knee pain, by working on the opposite elbow or ankle, working on the opposite wrist. Um, I've seen some amazing results with that, and, and people love it because they have no pain, and they clear it without having to do any painful corrections. In class 16, the temporal mandibular joint, that's one of the most important corrections to make. And so when people have TMJ and you fix that, it can fix a lot of other problems and it's often hidden they don't know they have TMJ so you can screen for that and then neck muscles we cover that in the 17 and 18 a really important factor is cranial faults those can also affect everything in the body and even learning problems so we show you how to evaluate and assess those and how to correct them also rotator cuff muscles and then the the pectoralis muscles and deltoid muscles are covered in the 17 and 18. In class 19, we clear scars. Scars are often a factor that people don't realize are creating a major blockage of meridian flow. And if clear, scars aren't cleared, sometimes they can't get better. So it's a great, great thing to know how to correct. We also show more upper extremity muscles and hand muscles. We have the retro lymphatic technique, retrograde lymphatic as a factor that, again, nobody else is, uh, <laughs> Goodhart figured this out, nobody else is looking at that, but if, if you have this condition, it causes edema, uh, a lot of joint problems, and when you clear that, it's amazing the, the results people have. They just say, God, I feel like I got a new body. <laughs> but again, we show you how to find it, correct it, and many other people, nobody else is looking for it. And then 21, PNF stretches, we go in depth with that to find how to increase flexibility, range of motion, and even strength. We did that in our sports kinesiology course. 
Reactive muscles, that's another thing nobody else looks at. And when you find these muscles that due to an accident or injury are throwing off other muscles and resetting them neurologically, uh, makes a huge difference, both for anyone that's had an accident or injury, but often just common things that people, you know, just like stepping down the steps and you miss a step or something. Um, and I've had times where nothing else was correcting it, and then I had my reactive muscles corrected, and a problem that I'd had for a long time went away immediately. Then the next one is, we did a little of this in the beginning, balancing according to posture. You'll be able to look at someone's posture and know what's out. And then in class 24, these are all recorded, by the way, you have immediate access to them, and then of course we cover all these as well, and that's doing a complete balancing session. So that's where uh, you get to put it all together. So I just want to thank you for coming and being aware that we are here for you and I want to be your guide as I've been able to do with so many other people. We have students from 89 countries and I just love the results I hear my students sharing about how they are having amazing breakthroughs, transforming lives, clearing up conditions that nobody else was able to clear. Some of you might have seen Danny Varela, who was in the studio last week, and he was talking about how his, his whole career, he started as a massage therapist with just a 100-hour training. He did my certification program and is now using this with athletes and with everyday people as well. He's making $250 to $500 a session, getting phenomenal results, having people even flying in from other states just doing what I just showed you uh, that you will learn in the certification program. So if you cannot attend uh, the live and, and the certification program right now, if you enroll in the online program and later decide you wanna go into the hands-on program or the online certification, you can apply all of that towards your tuition. So it's a fabulous investment and an opportunity for you to really become adept and stand out from others. Because that's for me, when I was a massage therapist, and well, there's all these other massage therapists around, but there's nobody that can get the results I'm getting and doing what I'm doing. And that's what we want you to have that opportunity to really stand out and set yourself apart to really provide phenomenal results for your clients. So if there's a, a, a time you want to talk to us, if you want to schedule a session, we have a, a button that's on the site that says schedule a free 20-minute inquiry session where you can get all your questions answered if you need to talk a little bit more about this. We also have a payment plan, so you can make, if you can't pay it all right up front, you can extend payments, so we make sure you get this opportunity. Because right now we're not planning on another structural live certification program for quite a while. This is about every year and a half to two years we run this. So we want you to have this opportunity to study now, start getting the phenomenal results and extra income right away rather than putting it off for a year and a half or two to be able to do that. So uh, again, I want to thank you for making Kinesiology Institute your best choice for health and wellness education. Thank you for attending. Hope to see you soon and God bless.